I took Design for Freedom from Disability last year because I wanted to take an engineering class that was centered on humans. It was taught by Professor Ken Picard and co-taught by Andy Lin, a rehab engineer at Rancho Los Amigos National Rehab Center. The goal of the class was essentially to make a product that could potentially assist the lives of people who have some kind of discomfort in their lives due to a disability. Professor Picar is especially good, just kind of motivating us. He kept reminding us every day we have an opportunity to design something that can really help people. You come up with the problem that you want to solve and just just go and solve it. Professor Bukhar was very clear right from the get-go. If you want to try something out, don't be worried about the money. Like, we'll cover it. We bought a lot of motors, which are not very cheap. And none of this would have been possible without the money that donors have provided for us. We took a class trip over to Rancho, and we spent the day chatting with them and talking about some of the struggles that they faced. Really, there's not much storage space in the wheelchair, so we thought about creating something that could really help people put their day-to-day -day items on the wheelchair. In the U.S., there's more than 318,000 people who have strokes and a weakness on one side of their body. Our project involved trying to help these patients move around with ease. A lot of the wheelchair users found the armrests really annoying and that they actually just removed them. And we thought, okay, well that's awkward because our entire project was supposed to attach onto the armrest. We found out there's this one little company in the UK. They were creating like a similar project. We talked to Professor Picard and told them that we were really disappointed, but he encouraged us to call the company and talk to them. The guy at the company gave us a lot of engineering guidance on what could be better. We initially wanted to make a device that was kind of like a one-size-fits-all. Folks at Rancho just kind of told us, narrow it down a little bit, focus in on a items that everyone will want. My biggest takeaway was don't complicate things and it just, just keep it simple. There was definitely a lot of collaboration, mentoring, and teamwork that happened. It was a cycle, a continuous cycle of going to the notebook and then prototyping and talking to Andy. He himself is an engineer. So when it came to really learning about the disabilities, he was our go-to guy. I've been told by Andy that uh, two of our devices are being used right now at Rancho. That made me very happy to hear that, you know, that we were actually able to make something that could help some people out. And there was one inpatient who got to try our product. He was just zipping through the hallways and afterwards we asked him if there were any improvements we could make and he was like, it's perfect. When can I get one of these? Throughout all my job interviews, a lot of them ask about my learning experience at Caltech and somehow this class always comes up in my answers. Taking this class made me realize how amazing engineers are and how much impact they can have in the society. I'm planning on going into human-robot interactions and human-centric engineering, including surgical robots and prostheses. I think most people get really into their project. They really fall in love with it. Class really didn't feel like homework at all, but it really just felt more like a passion project.